Yes, yeah, so Harrison, I know you don't like the music, but uh, seven notes of this legendary music from John Williams. <clears throat> but everybody, of course, can uh, have this, has got this uh, trotting through their minds, especially after the steps and the red carpet last night uh, with the new latest uh, part of the Indiana Jones saga. So after the red carpet, uh, there's the photo call. We're going to hear Harrison here, Harrison there, uh, Harrison all over the place. But of course, uh, he is a star. We've just seen Iris Knobloch, uh, the president of the festival, gave him an honorary Palme d'Or. Han Solo, Indiana Jones, and of course, uh, Rick Deckard from Blade Runner. Harrison Ford saw his cinema life passing in front of his eyes uh, with this wonderful homage uh, paid to him uh, last night and he was very moved and uh, he even had a tear in his eye of course he's not all by himself today there's james Man mangold who is directing the whole photo call here of course a director so that's normal so harrison ford james mongold and matt mickelson phoebe waller bridge shawnette Rennie wilson Boyd Holbrook and young Ethan Isidore. Ethan Isidore, who was uh, <coughs> very close to Harrison last night. And in the film, he plays Teddy. And so he's sort of a, a second half moon inspired by Chang in Chan in uh, the Adventures of Tintin. So Indiana Jones is uh, a bit uh, of, uh, has a bit of inspiration from Tintin. Uh, of course, Spielberg is a big lover of Tintin, but it's not Spielberg directing this time, it's James Mangold. Scriptwriter, director. Uh, night and day with Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz, which he directed in 2010. Walk the Line, of course, biopic on Johnny Cash. Harrison uh, sighing. But his little uh, crooked smile still there. James Mongold, Harrison Ford, and Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who plays his uh, goddaughter, his spiritual daughter, in the latest uh, installment, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, in this last, uh, latest film, Indiana Jones wants to retire. But his niece doesn't let him, and she takes him off into a new adventure to find the Dial of Destiny. <laughs> Phoebe Waller Bridge. Of course, she was the star of the series Fleabag. About. Uh, a young woman living in London, it was a big success. Uh, originally Spielberg was going to direct this uh, installment, but at the end of the day, uh, James Mong uh, Mangold uh, took over. When uh, Steven Spielberg said he wouldn't be directing it, after all. Harrison Ford and Phoebe Waller-Bridge. play this role. Yeah. 
and uh, it was actually originally written for Tom Selleck of Magnum fame. He was meant to be playing Indiana Jones, and here he is with his honorary Palme d'Or, which he received yesterday evening, and uh, which he's very proud. And, and he really did have tears in his eyes. Ford has been to Cannes many times and for Coppola's The Conversation, notably a film which uh, won the Palme d'Or and the uh, Ecumenical Jury Award. He was uh, here for Apocalypse Now, again from Coppola, where he had uh, a small role, a small part, and uh, the film, of course, won the Palme d'Or as well. He was back in 1985 for Witness, which was not in competition. Uh, these American actors are always very classy and he snook off with his uh, Palme d'Or under his arm Phoebe Waterbridge back of course she played in Fleabag, but she also wrote and directed it. She was uh, the creator of this very successful series. Antonio Banderas is in the film too. Unfortunately, he couldn't be with us here in Cannes. And Max Mickelson, he plays a bad guy, a bit like in uh, Casino Royale. This time he's uh, a former Nazi uh, scientist. Now it's young Ethan Isidore for his photo call, while Harrison has done his part. He didn't get on the table like uh, Ethan Isidore. <laughs> Ethan Isidore is very was was very close to Harrison Ford on the red carpet. They uh, were talking together. They hugged.